So I'm a big fan of head torches and I have far too many of them. And in this set of three videos, I'm covering a few different things. In this video, I want to compare my favorite head torch at the moment, which is the Zipka. One of which has got the new Petzl Core rechargeable battery. The other one is just running on standard AAAs. So I could easily measure the brightness of the head torches. I've made up this little rig. So this is just a cheap lux meter from eBay, screwed to a bit of wood. And then this is a, an old milk bottle, which I've put inside itself as a diffuser so that when you shine a bright light through them, it spreads the light out and you can measure the sort of total light coming out rather than just the, the bright spot of the beam. So that's what I'm using to compare these. Each torch will either be fully charged or I'm using brand new um, award-winning alkalines. I'll measure the brightness after 30 seconds so that the voltage from that initial spike drops and then after one hour so I can compare how bright they are initially and halfway through their charge. On full brightness these torches should all last two and a half hours so one hour in seems a fair point. Is the Zipka using the rechargeable core battery? So that's giving a reading of 50. Then lastly I'll do the other Zipka this time using brand new AAA batteries. And again, I'll wait 30 seconds before I take a reading. Right, and that's giving a reading of 49, so it's slightly less than the core. So I'll leave these on for an hour now and see how they compare then. Right, so the torches have been on for an hour now, so we'll just give them another check. So I'll turn the lights out. So starting with the uh, Zipco with the AA batteries, giving a reading of 15. The core rechargeable one is reading 25. So that's roughly half what it started after an hour, whereas the AAA batteries, they have dropped to about a third of what they started. I still really like the, uh, the Zipkas. They have the nice headband and they're really, they're about 20 quid to run on, on AAAs. Um, that, the rechargeable battery though, I, I think is, is definitely worth it, even though it does push you up to sort of 43 pounds for the Zipka with the core rechargeable pack. Um, I think that's actually a pretty good buy. So anyway, I hope that's useful.